All right, so it's time to get up close and personal about my debt. So if you are joining me for the first time, my name is Justine and I run the Debt Free Millennials channel and I talk about all things millennial money and debt free living and today I'm surprised I hadn't shared this before but I am going to talk about my journey with debt and how I paid off $35,000 in two and a half years on a $37,000 income. Now this all actually started back in 2008 which we all know was the start of the housing market crash and the Great Recession. And I was a sophomore in college at that time. I was living in my sorority house working on my homework when I received a phone call from my mom. She was laid off from Sprint after more than 25 years and my dad was working overtime. He's an HVAC worker working in really dangerous situations. She told me that they no longer could support me financially. And at that time, I was really relying heavily on my parents and just not really having an understanding of, of money and how I was supposed to earn it and what I was supposed to do with it. And I remember freaking out silently and feeling really embarrassed because at that time I was really shy talking about money, especially being in college and being in my sorority, which I love my house and I love the women that I met in there, but I felt like I was the only one struggling financially and I couldn't talk about it. So I freaked out and then my mom told me to go get a job. So I got my first job working at this god awful buffet called Sirloin Stockade. And then I ended up getting a waitressing job at Chili's. And it's really kind of crazy because I still kept taking out loans throughout my entire time in college. And then it wasn't till it wasn't until after I graduated and I moved back in with my parents, I got a uh, internship at an ad agency in Kansas City working for $10 an hour and I was getting my first loan repayment notifications in the mail from the federal government saying that I owed them $230 monthly minimum payments for the next 10 years and I remember thinking to myself like there's no way there's no way I can afford that on a $10 an hour paycheck and I really started to get upset with myself and really blaming myself for putting myself in this situation financially and that I was going to do everything in my power to get rid of that debt so that I could start working towards a debt-free lifestyle. I wanted to live in a high-rise apartment in an urban city. I wanted to do the happy hours and go on all the sushi dates and travel. I loved traveling and I wanted to do more of that and I knew I just couldn't do that with with $35,000. And I started reading books. My parents had given me um, Dave Ramsey's book, actually. And I read that cover to cover. And I told myself, you know, I can do this. I read other articles. I started talking to people about um, my goal to pay it off in five years. And I started tracking my income for the very first time using a budget, a spreadsheet that I built. And actually you can access that if you go to debtfreemillennials.com slash toolkit. I've, I've created it so that anybody can use it now. And it was then that I was like, okay, I'm, I'm not gonna go out to lunch with my coworkers. I'm only going to do happy hour drinks and like order the cheapest drink possible if I'm going to go out and just really look for ways that I could get creative. Um, raid my sister's closet versus going out shopping for new items. It was those little things that I started to incorporate into my lifestyle so that I could pay off the debt. So at one point I got so laser focused that I was putting more than a thousand dollars per month towards my student loan debt. After that $10 an hour job, I was promoted into a full-time position making $33,000. And during my debt-free journey, I switched jobs twice. So I moved from a 33K income to a 40K to 41 or 42, I think is where I ended. And two and a half years later, I was debt-free. 
And I was so, so incredibly humbled by the entire experience because I was debt free shortly uh, before I got engaged and my husband and I were able to pay for our wedding in cash. And actually I did apply for Dave Ramsey's debt free scream and I was on his show in 2014. And since then, I have evolved with Debt Free Millennials and it had really been on my mind to do this, to talk about personal finance and then also do, in a way that, do it in a way that was authentic to me. I use credit cards and I'm okay with earning cash back rewards and frequent flyer airline points. I'm okay with that lifestyle because I pay it off every single month. I'm okay splurging on sushi dates, and I'm okay taking trips to Puerto Rico or Jamaica or Cancun to have a fun-filled experience in my life with my husband, with my friends. And these are the things that I like to teach about. And I can't tell you how much living a debt-free life, like, also I'm getting emotional. I don't know why. I'm trying to keep together Justine, keep it together, but... I can't tell you how much living a debt-free life changes you. You get to move up in the world in so many different ways. And I'm not talking about income. I'm talking about making changes to, to better yourself. I actually was able to move from small town Kansas to San Diego. We did not have debt payments. I was able to get married to my husband without bringing any debt into our marriage. We were able to pay cash for our Subaru Forester. That was $25,000, which is a lot of money, but we paid for it in cash because we had the idea that we were going to do this together debt-free for the rest of our lives. And if you're into a debt-free life, if that's what you want, jump into the comments. Let me know if there are others out there, especially millennials. Like, I felt like maybe it was our parents' generation that had the credit card debt problem. But honestly, there are so many of us that are now ridden with student loans and credit card debt. So I want to know, if you're ready to make changes, like... Let me know in the comments because I'm right here with you, cheering you on. I hope you stick around this channel. Hit subscribe if you want to learn more strategies. I love talking about this stuff. I'm so thankful um, for you listening to my story here. And um, thank you so much for being here.